I'm Cassie Ravelli. I work at the Utah Olympic Park and I'm our race director for our inaugural Park City hosted IBSF Para World Sport Championship. I'm a former skeleton athlete and share a great excitement for these athletes to be able to compete in their first ever world championships. Every athlete dreams to be a part of competing in a world championships, let alone the first ever world championships. There's a huge crowd out here today, and I can't tell you how much that helps you slide and perform. My favorite races ever are the ones where you have all the fans cheering. It just builds this tangible energy at the start, and I think that's really going to make a special, special experience for these guys here today. I know that these, this group of athletes is looking forward to seeing uh, a crowd out there, and I think that they'll feed off that crowd, and hopefully the crowd feeds off them. Having so many people out here watching this event is incredible because it, it, it adds validity to the sport. Everything around here on the start, and when you go to the start and you see people, yeah, it don't make me nervous, uh, it don't make the pressure, but it's really nice to see, and it's motivated me all the time. It's awesome seeing all of the supporters out here. You know, people think it's a great thing what we're doing. This is such a great event to be at. It's very family friendly and we love being at the venue of the 2002 Salt Lake Olympics. Uh, you get to see all the action on the curves and it's amazing what these individuals can do that have all the different abilities. It's something that a lot of people don't get to see and it's really exciting. This is incredible. There's been a bunch of people here and it's just a cool event. I mean, it's something that I think more people should see from this perspective. You know, it's better than on TV. You know, you see bobsled on TV and you think, oh, it feels like a roller coaster ride. But the cool thing about coming out to an event is if you stand near the track, you feel a sled go by. It feels like you're standing two feet from a train that's about to run you over. Being able to stand right next to the track is just awesome as they fly by at high speeds. Coming from North Carolina, it's pretty amazing to watch NASCAR and see things fly by you at superhuman speeds, but this is both frightening and amazing because it's 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 just people in carts manually controlling it. I mean, there's there's not really a machine separating them from danger, and I think it's both exciting and a little scary to watch, but it's awesome. It's amazing to see the speed and to see um, everyone so thrilled to see how exciting it can be. It's exciting. It's, it's so fast. It's unbelievable. In terms of speed and, and, and the spectacle of the sport, the you know, there's, there's, there's folks down in the turn, there's spectators watching in the turns. You know, sometimes as you're coming through, your, your main focus is, you know, do I hit that right line in 12? But then you see all the heads and the, and the, uh, the camera phones out and everybody's taking pictures and everybody's watching and you, know, you just see them fly by so quickly. As much as we are doing it for ourselves as athletes, we want to represent our, our countries to the best of our abilities. Um, and we want to, to, by extension, motivate people to show people that, you know, even if you have a disability, you can go out there and you can do amazing things. You can participate in amazing sports. Able-bodied bobsled is the second most watched winter Olympic sport. And I think we'd be right up there with them because we're just as competitive as the able bodies. We still are matching almost the same speeds and the same G-forces that the able bodies are doing. Over the last few years, we've seen a great increase in our spectator attendance for our local communities here in Park City to come and support these athletes for their first World Cups, two World Championships. We've had spectators this week to just watch their training as we've gotten the word out in the community and abroad. We're super excited to be able to share this new sport with everyone that we possibly can. The, the aspect of the, the para side of it and the stories behind each athlete will will definitely draw in a, a lot of spectators for the for the Paralympics. It's such a unique part of the winter sports uh, menu that you've got in the Olympic Games and so I think to have para bobs and para skeleton in the Paralympics would just round out an already very cool array of sports that demonstrate these guys abilities and demonstrate you know what's possible when you when you stop telling yourself what you can't do and start looking at what you can do this is just another amazing outlet for these guys to seek adrenaline and seek all the things that they loved prior to injury.